for the rest of 1,000 Pfizer shots a week for the rest of the month. But if you do the calculation, you'll see we need to do this every two days for the rest of the year to reach your own 40 million target. Now consider that the sum total of the last four months has only been 340,000. Do you see the maths issue here, Mr. President? Do you see why we cannot believe you when you tell us the things that you've just said? But perhaps the big question is, do you really care? Because you're so caught up in the internal battles in the ANC while this pandemic rages across South Africa. You said you didn't want to be seen as a weak president. You didn't say you didn't want to uh, the ANC. Well, you've done both very successfully. So well done on that. You're busy waging a factional war while a third wave looms in South Africa. We're now in May and your ANC government, you're clapping on the benches here, have not administered a single dose. The 800,000 has been done by the Sasonke project. There are still many, many healthcare workers who remain unvaccinated. Now, before you bang on about vaccine imperialism again, let me tell you that South Africa's current ranking for vaccines administered is 33. That's 33rd, not in the world. That's the 33rd in Africa, behind Sierra Leone, Sudan, Somalia, and Zambia. South Africans want to know when they're getting vaccinated and you have failed them. So my question is, Mr. President, given that you've now imperiled the lives of 800,000 healthcare workers and millions of vulnerable citizens, as we head into winter and a third wave, Will you take responsibility for the lives lost Another due to this failure? Yeah, and if not, Mr. President, then you, you have taken should more take time responsibility.